Hi, so I'm going to start a new ser series of videos here um, with uh, about C Sharp, and um, um, let's jump right into it. If you want to follow along, go ahead and start uh, Visual Studio 2005, 2008, or the uh, Express Edition. Any one of those would work. I'm using Visual Studio 2008, <clears throat> and for students out there, um, if you guys don't know about DreamSpark, go ahead and Google Google DreamSpark, and um, uh, you, you're able to download uh, applications such as this one. I'm using the professional uh, edition of Visual Studio 2008 um, and this is free from uh, Microsoft website. So if you don't know about this, go ahead and take a look. I also have a video on it but I need to update that. So Visual Studio 2008 professional edition. This is not from uTorrent or anything like that. This is from Microsoft website for students. Okay, very good. So today we're going to take a first look at C Sharp. And uh, the reason why we're going to use the console, the, the console format, is so then we get the complexity of uh, forms and, and buttons and, and text boxes. And uh, uh, when you, uh, if you, if you're learning C sharp and you're using that uh, that type of environment, it, you have buttons with different methods and and properties and things like that that you're not gonna um, that you're not gonna be using. So. To start our um, um, C sharp here, I'm going to click on File, New Project, and um, I have my environment set up for Visual uh, Visual C sharp. So that's my, my first language, but you, your language might be under other languages. So if it's in there, just go ahead and choose C sharp, and click on Windows and cons Console Application. I'm just going to leave the default name of Console Application number one, and I'm going to click OK. So. Once you click um, OK, you're you're brought into the, uh, um, the the code window. This is where you can start coding um, everything. Um, by default, it puts a lot of it puts a lot of name uh, namespaces for you in here. Go ahead and get rid of all of it. Um, actually, no, you don't want to get rid of all of it. You want to use the uh, system system namespace, and I'll explain to you what that is. Um, the namespace is the actual name of your application. Um, if you're gonna run this from the uh, from the um, MS DOS, um, you just type that name. Um, and what the name the namespace is is actually um, think think of it as a folder, um, just for you to have an idea. So if I want to create a file here, um, I don't know if I should go into this. I'm not gonna go into that. Okay, never mind. So just 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 think of it namespace as a way to organize your classes and a way to organize your programs. Okay, just 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 think about it that way. That light's killing my eyes. Um, so let's leave it like that. Um, in C sharp, um, you you only have functions. Okay, uh, differently from uh, VB.NET where you have functions and subroutines. Uh, the only difference here is that some of the functions may return something and some functions don't. And that's what that keyword is. The main function of the console application does not return anything. Um, so let's go ahead and do the uh, uh, regular um, hello world. And let me talk to you about this using system right here. Let me get rid of that. And if I get rid of that, when I try to do, when I try to print something on the screen, let's say if I'm going to do console dot right line. Um, as, as you can see, the, the IntelliSense doesn't know what's going on in here because I have to fully qualify the command. So for that, I would have to do, oh, it's system, I'm sorry, system. System dot console dot right line. And then I, you know, I'll go ahead and then I'll put my hello world in here. And then if I want to if I want to keep that console window open, I would have to do system dot console dot read semicolon. And if I run that application, I'm just going to press F5 on my keyboard here. Um, if I run it, then you can see hello world in there, and then the cursor is just sitting on the next line, waiting for for this to uh, to take place. Um, so the reason why you enter that using system up here is that so then it just makes it easy doing code so you don't have to fully qualify everything okay and then there are other other namespaces as well but this is what I want to talk to you about I feel that when people teach you what when people share this with you um, when when they share uh, you know that you can print something on the screen I, I kind of feel like they're giving you the fish so I want to teach you where to go to fish 
Um, and there is something in uh, Visual Studio. It's called the um, Object Browser. I believe that that's what's called. So go to uh, View, and then click on yeah Object Browser. That's it. And then in here you have all the classes that um, all the namespaces and classes that come with the um, the .NET framework. And so this is where you can find a lot of your all of your objects, all all, all of your classes, and you can see what each one of the classes um, what what they do. So let's go ahead and then take a look at the console here. So I'm just gonna go under um, search here. I'm gonna type console, and I'm gonna press enter. And um, it helps if you just spell right, you know. It's, it's very helpful, but sometimes you just gotta tell it. So, anyways, so as you can see, the console is under System Console. Okay. Um, another way to find this is that if you actually go to the system, um, to the system namespace right here, and you uh, click on the plus nod, and search all the way down the console. Then, when you click on it on this window you can see all of its properties in all of its methods okay this things with a little little hand right here these are properties so uh, you should spend some time here looking at your classes when you're using them so you have access to every every single one of the uh, properties and methods of the class uh, of course when you're using telesense you can also see in there uh, but just in here you have an overview of everything and you also have a summary and, and if you return something so it's very useful information so let's just say that um, background color so if we want to change the background color it's a property and we can do that so let's see if we can use that uh, right now when you, we do hello world and we just run it f5 so we get this we get this black window with you know hello world written that way so if we so let's go ahead in here and then add console dot background equals to uh, I think uh, it's color console color dot so we can change the color of the background dark red okay and then semicolon let's go ahead and run the application again and nothing happens great don't you love that let's try blue run it and still nothing happens okay okay so the that probably works in conjunction with the uh, right line so let's go ahead and change the background first, and then print the words, uh, the the words uh, "Hello World" in there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and run it, and then you can see that it says "Hello World" in there. So go ahead and spend some time on the uh, object browser because it, it it really can be extremely helpful. The object browser can be extremely helpful. Um, let's see what else we can do we can do things like uh, so we have hello world we can do console dot let's see what else we have here caps lock so then is your caps lock on and off so let's go ahead and print that if it's on and off console dot right line and I'm gonna say caps lock dot to string and then uh, I have my caps lock on right now, so let me go ahead and run it. And then it says it's true right there, so that means that the caps lock is on. Um, we can add something else to it. We can say interesting. Computer is very slow. We can say caps caps are. run and then say caps are off because I turned it off well, let's run it again I'm gonna turn it on okay so you spend some time with the uh, with the object browser uh, a lot of good information in here um, another thing that you might want to uh, use when uh, playing around is the clear um, let me go ahead and get rid of this um, well you can do console that clear too if you want to print multiple things um, so these are all methods of the, the console console object um, that you can explore. Okay.
So that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'm going to crank out some more uh, C-sharp tutorials very soon.